In this lecture, we're going to discuss the relationship between moles and gases. And one very important statement that you must remember is that is that one mole of any gas. So one mole of any gas is going to occupy it's going to occupy 24 decimeter cube volume. 24 dm cube is basically equal to 24 liters. So uh, one mole of any gas uh, occupies 24 dm cube. Now, this statement is very important. You must remember this statement by heart. And uh, you're going to use this statement to convert uh, uh, if you're given moles of gas. So if you're given moles of gas, you can convert it into volume. For example, if I have, uh, let's start with the first one. If I have two moles of gas and Remember, it could be any gas. We are not differentiating between gases. It could be oxygen gas, it could be hydrogen gas. So if you have two moles of gas, now you can use ratios. You know that one mole of gas occupies 24 dm cubed. So two moles of gas, they are definitely going to occupy double that amount. So it's going to occupy 48 dm cube volume. So you can, you can basically use uh, ratios uh, by just remembering this statement over here, which I am underlining and You just need to remember that one mole of gas occupies 24 dm cube. So we can do a few questions now uh, Let's say uh, the first question is let's say I have 3.5 moles Of CH4 gas Now I need to find out uh, the volume that this gas would occupy now I can I can use ratios what I can do is I can use ratios I know that one mole of gas occupies 24 dm cube so if I have 3.5 moles of gas then it should occupy a volume and using ratios I don't know what the volume is so I can use X and I can, what I can do after that is I can use the unitary method, I can use ratios, I can cross multiply. And if I cross multiply, 1 would get multiplied by x. And 24 would get multiplied by 3.5. And my x would come out to be, if you use your calculator, it should come out to be 84 decimeter cube. And that would be your answer. So by just using ratios, I knew that one mole of gas occupies 24 dm cube. So 3.5 moles of uh, gas would occupy x. And use, using cross multiplication, I'm able to find out that uh, the volume that would be occupied by 3.5 moles of gas would be equal to 84 dm cube. Now I can do another question, a similar question. And this time I have 0.58 moles of HCl gas and I need to find out what the volume is. So again, I can use ratios. I know that one mole of HCl gas would occupy 24 decimeter cube. So if I have 0 0.58 moles of HCl gas, then that should occupy, and that is the unknown. It's going to occupy x dm cube, and I can cross multiply, use cross multiplication and ratios. Uh, 24 would get multiplied by 0 0.58 and 1 would get multiplied by x and solving for x x would be equal to that would give me 13 point in my calculator that would give me 13.92 dm cube so again by using simple ratios i was able to figure out that that 0.58 moles of hcl would occupy 13.92 dm cube of gas now, in exactly a similar way, uh, we can do the other way around as well. For example, if the volume of uh, if the volume of a gas is given, we can convert that back into moles as well. So, for example, I have this question part A, which is that volume of O2 gas is given as 100 dm cube, and I need to find the moles. So, I can use ratios again. I know that one mole of gas occupies 24 decimeter cube in volume. So if I have 100 decimeter cube of gas, then that should have how many moles in it? It should have x moles in it. So I can use ratios again. I can cross multiply. And when I do that, I will get 24x 
equal to 100 dm cube and x would basically be equal to 100 divided by 24 which gives me and that would give me 4.16 and rounding to, to four significant figures I would get 4.167 moles of gas so I have done uh, ratios but this time I have done the ratio other way around I, have, I was given volume of gas and I have converted that into moles of gas let's do another similar question I have C286 and the volume that is given is 500 cm cube so I know that one mole of gas occupies 24 decimeter cube of volume now if I have 500 cm cube I need to first convert 500 cm cube into dm cube so that would be 500 divided by 1000 so 500 divided by 1000 dm cube would contain how many moles it's going to contain x moles and then cross multiplying what I would get is I'm going to get 24 which would be multiplied by x and that would be equal to 500 divided by 1000 and solving for x this would give uh, me x would be equal to and rounding to three significant figures again I, I, I'm going to get point zero point zero two zero eight moles now you can use ratios to solve all these questions you can convert moles to you can convert moles to an uh, volume of the gas and you can if you're given the volume of the gas you can convert that back into moles now instead of using ratios if you don't want to use ratios what you can do is you can you can use this formula which does exactly the same thing so you, and that formula is that moles of gas and remember this entire concept applies to gases only and we're talking about the volume of gases not volume of solution so never apply it to solutions or any other thing except for gases so you have moles of gas which is equal to volume of gas divided by the molar volume which is 24 decimeter cube remember that your units should always be in preferably preferably be in dm cube or the unit should be the same no matter uh, which formula you're using so moles of gas is volume of gas and that volume of gas should be in dm cube divided by the molar volume which is 24 dm cube so you can use this formula uh, instead of doing ratios you can use this formula this formula would work very well as well so we can do uh, a few more examples using this formula which is moles of gas is equal to volume of gas divided by 24 dm cube so let's say uh, let's do some easy ones first so let's say I have I have three moles of H2 gas and I need to find the volume of this gas so I can use ratios and I'm going to show how to do this using formula as well so so I know that one mole of gas occupies 24 decimeter cube what I can do is that uh, I can use ratios so three moles of gas is going to occupy x so three moles of gas occupies x and you cross multiply so what you're going to get is it would be 1x 1 multiplied by x which would be equal to 24 multiplied by 3 which would give me 72 decimeter cube which was very obvious that if you have one mole of gas which occupies 24 dm cube so three moles of gas is going to occupy three times that much and now i'm going to show this uh, same thing using formula so the formula was that moles of gas which in this case is three moles is going to be equal to volume of gas divided by 24 decimeter cube and if you use and use this formula and solve for volume of gas the volume of gas is going to come out to be the same which would be 24 multiplied by 3 and this over here would give you 72 dm cube 
and we can use the formula let's do another question and I'm going to uh, uh, you can uh, do a few more things you can do the reverse as well so if volume of gas is given so let's say I have uh, 48 so I have 48 decimeter cube of chlorine gas and I want to find out the number of moles so so I, I'm looking for moles so I can use ratios the ratios are simple one mole of gas occupies 24 decimeter cube so 48 decimeter cube would contain how many moles it's going to contain x moles and you you're going to cross multiply and you're going to get 24 multiplied by x which would be equal to 48 multiplied by 1 and you're going to solve for x which would come out to be 48 divided by 24 which would give you 2 moles which was very obvious that 1 mole of gas occupies 24 dm cubed so 2 moles of gas are going to occupy 48 dm cubed and we can solve the exact same thing using formulas as well so so I need to find out moles so moles of gas is equal to volume of gas which is 48 dm cube divided by 24 and that gives me 2 moles so so you can clearly see that using formulas simplifies your calculation you don't have to use ratios all the time so so from now on I'm going to use formulas uh, for calculating uh, moles or volume of gas and this formula over here which is right in front of you I'm going to I'm going to underline this and put in this put star in front of it. So I'm going to use this formula to calculate moles of gas or if uh, you have to calculate volume of gas I'm also going to use this formula.